do coffee today? Well, I mean, we did it once because once when you were gone. Yeah, yeah, I know. I yeah, exactly. I like, when I, I was gone. Know. I don't know how to do this shit. The one fucking time. It, the one fucking time. But I mean, and then I was like, that was before I understood that it had to be like nitrogenated the same mm. way that you would like CO two, right? Anyway. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Well, no, you should understand that it's a bit. As soon as, <laughs> yeah, 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 as, yeah. Soon as we see the video come up, it's not a live mic in the classic sense. Uh, greetings. Uh, that august body, sometimes called the Amber Council. Uh, it is I, your internet friend, Jeffrey K. Horcrims. New Year, uh, identical <laughs> me. Um, you think? The picture of Dorian Gray, basically, yeah. Um, <laughs> my vampiric skills uh, continue to abound. Now, uh, there was a whole intro that I used to do. Let me see if I can figure it out. Yeah, uh, I mean, hello. You, however, you, however, it came to be. There we go. You have fallen ass backwards. Great so far. Into Twitch's brewing show acquisitions. Yeah, okay, you're hitting all points. I am joined as almost always. Picking the boxes. Uh, by acquisitions intoxicated brewmaster Eric J Benson. Although Azerbaijan uh, also uh, acceptable. Yeah, you know what? Paul Hollywood's already mad. You fucked it up. Come on. Get, Azerbaijan, great. Right back. Powerful, the great and powerful. Okay, um, edge, okay, okay, all right, now we like some yeah, of the adjectives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, also Edge Benson, uh, also the notorious EJB. Now, no, Jesus Christ, there's like a, excuse me, sorry, my, sorry my language, I'm getting a little mad. There's a whole fucking another, part. You didn't even go through the hero's journey, you didn't, giving you all these issues. Get with the program, man, come on. This is a new year, new so same much, you. There's so much to impart, you're right. It's rich. Um, new year, new bullshit. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Now, uh, of course, that is Josh. You cannot see him, but Ghostly is hovering here in the wings, uh, also uh, manifesting their best uh, for a new year. Now, listen, um, obviously, we do everything that we can on this program uh, to give you that which you already know, the art and science of brewing. And we have a very specific process that we undergo uh, in that vein, specifically, um, we try to adhere to the Campbell's monomyth. Mm. Um, so obviously there's a hero's journey sort of situation, except we're not going on the journey. Grains are going yeah, on the journey, right? right? So, I mean, it's, it's, we've modified it for our purpose. I'm not climbing in here. I'm not going to be boiled thrice. You know what I mean? It would be hard, it would be difficult to do. You would, ha you would have to feed, you'd have to feed me through, the, I, would have to get, I would have to be put in here as a slurry. Um, but I mean, listen, at the last show. Yeah. The very last show. Oh, bury me in my Pico. <laughs> the very last show. That's the one. Flo, uh, an absolute pleasure. So glad to see it. Now, uh, of course, the first thing we do is we grab these grins. Oh, yeah. We, we put got, them in yeah, that's here. A, that's the thing we do. Yeah. Right? Sure. Hold on. Uh, that is the process. Now, oh, you're going to freaking die. When you smell this, is it's it nice? out of control. It's real cool. Uh, this is fish. Remember we did it for girls, oh, for Roach? For Roach, perfect. So what did we try to execute for this was, old fish? So the, the, the reason we did this was because it was our last show uh, of the year. Yeah. And we always do a winter seasonal ale. So it was a, ref a, a refreshing spiced ale that mm. would be drank at Care Morin, mm. right? As, oh, as the man. witchers went we, back to we retire. We may need it. We may need it. So I just thought it was really oh, cool. Chainsaw Dog, this is some kind of cooking show. You know perfectly well what it is, you goose. Oh God, look, you do all. Get yeah. it with, like. Oh my goodness. Here, so so hook them up on the winter ale. What's, so, the, what's the tip? This is all like 88.6% Maris Otter. I was just gonna say, like that's bready. this. It's, yeah. Maris Otter is an English uh, grain and it's very bready and uh, rich, right? So when you think of a, a English real ale, um, that's where that's where you're you're getting that flavor. But from. they're just very toasty, warming beers. Yeah. Like ironically, yeah. they can be drunk ice cold. Totally. <laughs> and still It'll warm you. Warm you. Yeah. It yeah, is yeah, a, yeah. It's an opera ski. Yeah. Uh, beverage, but already. So look at this. But, then, but what, what was cool was we added some rye in there for spice. Well, yeah, I was just gonna say that came through in the that came through in the the nibble that I just had. And what you'll notice too is the flaked oats. Remember oh. we put a little bit of flaked oh, oat to yeah. give it that really it's, cool body. Well, I was just gonna say body head retention. Yep. And uh, um, some black patent just for a little bit of character. Yeah, and, but see, mostly and that color. came that came through, and you can you can see that in here. You can see it in here a little bit, but as right. soon as the, yeah, like It, it so, was only like a quarter so, like pound, so. but that brought that, th that quarter pound 
brought the color all the way up 20 points on the lava bond scale. Yeah, it took it, it took it up. Now, uh, well, this is this is killer. And so, what 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 hop is going in here? Something classic. Okay, so remember, we went, we wanted to get Lubiski. It's oh, a Polish yeah, hop. Yeah, the Polish hop, right? It, 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 we couldn't, couldn't find it, but we went with something uh, tr something similar. It's tradition. It's called tradition hop. It's a German hop. Really? Um, I've, and I've it's never heard of herbal and spicy, which is work. basically the same qualities of the Lubiski. Which Lubiski is more is herbal, spicy with cinnamon and bergamot as the. Oh, uh, again, we, we we were trying to like get into that spice furrow. Right, but this, I out. mean, this is going to give us some of the same yeah. same uh, qualities. That's interesting. All right, here. Now, so, on, tear, right? I've done so well already. Here, I've done, I've done well. I've inspired others mm -hmm. with my incredible pressing Amazing. of these buttons. He, he, he finally got it right. It's <laughs> happy birthday. I don't here. even know what the hell to do anymore. We support this. Oh, God. Highlander, now that. Well, I, is a great oh, movie? No, Moomin is saying it's Highlander. A horrible movie. A Highlander what? inspired. <laughs> what? We watched it and it sucks. I forgot. Oh. I thought it was good and then we watched it recently. Dude. I was like, oh my God, this is like one of the worst movies. If you ever. watch it, but I mean, this, this is, I think that part of it is like when you watched it. it I watched it as a, I watched it as a kid, and I shouldn't oh, have because it was very, very R. Oh yeah. And then I was like, I, I thought it was the most important human document ever created. I was like, this is it. I, if I don't want to watch any more movies that aren't about decapitation, it's yeah, like I mean, you just yeah. dial you just dial O. Oh my god. Anyway, listen, uh, how much of these bad boys are going in here? Yeah, the whole thing. Really? Oh, it's a, it's a gentle. Gentle German noble hop scenario. Mm -hmm. Okay. Josh doesn't like the Predator. No, what the fine. fuck? It's a great, great movie. It's not great. It's not great. <laughs> and it's not as good as it was when I was a kid, as far as what I remembered. Now that one like, I haven't gone back to. Yeah. I remember. I remember watching Predator Two in theaters, and. Like not Predator getting it. Is not good. I, I, I remember watching Predator, Predator 2 yeah, and Predator, not getting Predator, it. Predator 2 sucked, okay? Right? I'll give you that. It's really bad. But the That's Predator is fantastic. Fine. Well, here. It's fine. You're saying, hey, the Predator is not good. And I am saying, well, there is a man portable Gatling gun. Yeah. yeah. What the fuck? Predator sucks. <laughs> well, here, listen, garbage. I haven't, I have not seen, I have not Highlanded. Now, it's what. On Prime, so in well, I was just gonna say, let's if you, just do a watch part again. We've got to start this, no, we'll we back it up. Yeah, we'll, we'll, have, we'll have our own show where yeah. we watch shows that Josh watches. That Josh says is bad. I think it's great, and then we just like fucking just shit on Josh's commentary. Yeah, because yeah, it's gonna happen after Highlander. No, but see, you have to understand, he's going into this thing well fed. I know, he's, he's at the he's, apex, he's doing everything right. It's great. Yeah, he's he's getting uh, yeah, we, we'll, we'll have like. Doritos. He's got like this beautiful dish that he's prepared. Well, he's and he's used multiple, uh, you know, high-end Japanese tools. I know it's amazing to manufacture incredible food products. Okay. Yeah, but so uh, Brett, I, I love eating horrible garbage food while watching movies. That. Um. That's, Candy. That's, that's half of why you watch the yeah, movie. Yeah, and there's specific movies that I get McDonald's for. Really? I don't know why. But are, are there movies that are themselves sort of like McDonald's for the psyche? Yeah, it's like a comfort. Like everything part of it is like a comfort. Really? Yeah. Give me an example of a McDonald's movie. The Mummy. Yeah, see, which I have not seen. Yeah, I, I love The Mummy. It's yeah, like my guilty pleasure. The Mummy's point. on that level. It's like McDonald's level movie. Yeah, yeah, it's... <laughs> <laughs> Any of them. I'm gonna fucking kill Josh. <laughs> I'm holding him back. Like I'm gonna the, fucking the, kill the Josh today. Do not kill. The recent 2000. Like, no, I'm joking. No. Um, no. So no, no, it was so, the old Brendan Fraser yeah, ones. Brenna, out of nowhere, watched the Mummy. Yeah. And she's like, "This is pretty good." Yeah. She's like, like, not gonna lie, like, not ironically, like, I had fun watching this movie. Yeah. And just, the only thing I know about it, and this might not even be true. Is that there's a mummy in it? There is. There, are, there okay. is a mummy. All right. Now, I'm sure there's multiple mummies. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, it, obviously there's a mummy too, so there must have been like one got away. Yeah. Or something no, like that. Uh, same kind of same mummy, different different day. Yeah. Different same year. mummy, different day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, listen. Now, is the uh, is the device 
charged and primed. Oh yeah, you're set to go. Perfect. Here we go. Oh, there's like there's a couple things here. Oh, the phone's over here. I'll show. Wait, so Josh, you really didn't like the mummy? You know, it's it's. I think the it's the, is, is the mummy better than Highlander, is. right? Yeah, oh, there we go. By far. Yeah. yeah. See, there we go. Okay. There. there yeah, listen, uh, the enemy of my enemy, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. The mummy is, uh, I would say, equivalent to the type of movie that, um, let's say. Journey to the center of the earth. Don't ah. Uh, it's it's fun. That broad it's adventure good. movie. It's fun. Yeah, but like that was the cheesy rock movie, right? Well, it's your m mummy is cheesy. Also, I'm sorry. Mummy is cheesy as fuck. It's got Brendan Fraser. Yeah, and he was amazing in it. He's Brendan Fraser's fantastic. One hundred percent. Listen, it's not Encino Man. <laughs> it may as well be. It's Encino Man in the desert. Wow. <sighs> it's Desert Encino Man. <laughs> it's it's heating up. It's heating up. All right, listen. Well, obviously, what we what what needs to happen next is that we need to have just have a couple beers. And you know what? Encino Man's fine too. Uh, yeah, I, it's I, a I'm, fun movie. It is a fun movie. It's not a good movie. It's a fun movie. Fair enough. Well, I mean, that's not fucking Scorsese. <laughs> Like shit. Exactly. It's cheesy. All right, now. Oh, there is a there's a visual joke. Hang on. Is this is my foot yes. visible here? Okay, perfect. Um, so something happened to these pants. What? Yeah. This is about pants. Something <laughs> something happened to these pants. Oh, you got the roll up? Uh oh. Uh, no, no. Something happened to them during Pax Unplugged. Yeah, Grand Baxter. Here we go. And. This is what happened. So something happened to this pocket where now phones just fall right out of the pants. You know, Jerry, this is not the first pair of pants you've had this happen with either. I is that true? An issue. Yeah, you had this happen at a different PAX. What am I doing with this? I don't know. What am I doing with it's this? It's not like you carry pocket. around a knife or anything. Well, yeah. Yeah, I definitely don't want a knife to go down in there. Well, what, but what I'm saying is, what's making the rip? The, the vigorous the hand rubbing warp in the pants. The warp. <laughs> that that's where the, the the necrons come out of your pants pocket. Optimally, yeah. <laughs> That'd be great. Save me a lot of money. I'm just saying, watch out. This could happen to your pants. I just look. Jerry doesn't even have to sew it shut. Brenna, who sews things, could sew it shut, but for some reason, it's still got a hole. Yeah, I mean, that's oh, true. Yeah. Brenna could definitely do it. She is 100% A plus. In like minutes. A seamstress. Could fix it, no problem. But but this is the thing, as you've suggested, Josh, there's, uh, I would almost certainly, I mean, statistically speaking, I would almost certainly destroy it again. Yeah. But she could do it in a way where you couldn't fuck it up. Yeah, yeah like, like honestly, that's true. Glue the shit out of she it. Would with, go, like, she would go ham. Oh, yeah. She would go it. nut ass, crazy pants. Pocket. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But she had to make costumes for the children's theater. That was a whole oh, different. Yeah, that's cool. That was a whole different, you know, kettle of fish, ball of wax, etc. Now, so you, you, you already pulled some of this out? Is that right? And this is hatch wine. No, this is Thousand Suds. Oh, this is Thousand Suds. Parfait. Ooh, we love the color. Oof a doof. I wish I could tell you what was in it. I don't listen. But Pico, the. Oh, the Smith is being really weird lately. Really? Is it AWS? <laughs> I don't know. It's just it's sometimes it saves recipes, sometimes it doesn't. So I have to like capture them all on my phone. What the? Before you know. What the deuce? Right. Not a lot coming out there. I think we lost our carbonation. I think that it is carbonated though. No. Yeah. Pour that out and do another one. The the carb. Oh, really? The the. It wasn't on down here. Pour it out. Oh, really? Or, or drink it, whatever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I gotta drink it later. Here, can you grab me that other, can you toss me the other glass? A, voila. Uh, once you pull a couple um, ghostly, you have to um, up it oh, up. Increase the pressure, because that pressure is what's building up inside the tank, right? Yep. God, it's looking real sparkly. That is a great color. What the hell? I don't know what the hell is in this beer. What? what a, I just know it's grapefruit. What a, well yeah, that comes across, dude. 
Here, take oh, a look. Oh, thousand suds, here we go. Take a look at this. Wow. What? What a bewitching scent. Okay, so it's kind of cool. Oh. Oh, hey. That's what interesting. What a crazy aroma. That that's completely new. I, I have I have never smelled that in a beer. So this is pale malt. Yeah. Okay. So it's clean and crisp, which you like. And then twenty percent wheat. Okay. So a little structure there. And then we use champagne yeast. Well, now, ah, that's why. Okay. So that's probably where we're getting these fruity esters, then, right? Yep. And we used Warrior as the hop. Oh. Okay. So and then, uh, but Warrior's a big gun. But the fruity ester too. I mean, also grapefruit. We put grapefruit in. Yeah. So actual actual rind. rind? No actual whole grapefruit. Hell yeah! Well, here, here, here. Can you can you grab me one of these golden boys over here? And we That's can compare? fantastic. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it seems like holy a holy shit. It seems like a winner. <coughs> so these have only been. This is these are the new base. These, are, these are the new ones. Okay, so we got some inferno bolters uh, and, and a, a warp flame. This is the this is the whole gambit of their weapons. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, here I'll, I'll give them over here to um to the old ghost. Don't move them. Oh no, they're, they're they're facing the wrong way. Oh. I want to make sure the weapons are, are shown. Shiny. Yeah. yeah. Ugh. Yeah. So essentially what I do for these is it's a it's three coats. One is about it's, you start with Balthazar gold. The brass kind of looking yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a little brassy, it's a dark, dark gold. Yeah. And then it's um two layers, mostly it's just dry brushing a lot up. To, uh, two oh. layers up. I do a, a Gehenna gold. And then um, an auric oh, gold. Okay, so that's how you get the like the true sarcophagus type vibe. It's yeah. actually Balthazar under this, yeah. and all the brightness comes from these dry coats. Oh. Wow. Okay, but obviously, if you if you're familiar with these, hey man. Yeah. Uh, what up, dude? You want to try this beer? No. It's right there. That's Grab right. it. It's it's your boy um, Dave, actually, everybody. Get, uh, let's give him a new glass because that one's yeah. kinda, that's kind of. Uh, no, there wasn't a, a residue. Gosh, <laughs> yeah, don't listen. Don't don't come off like you don't love residue. You know me. That's probably good. What brings you in? Uh, I have um, I have dirty laundry. Look <laughs> here, that. Took home from me oh. when I went to New York after the show, so it's just been marinating in this heap of. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's been absolutely terrible. Oh, well, here, here, here. So take a sip of that. So there's like, this is grapefruit mm -hmm. and a lot of wheat and just pale. Got back from the dentist, so oh. now it's a little jacked up. So oh, yeah, that, that'll do it. Swoosh it around for a little bit. Dude, last time, last time I went to the dentist, yeah. they were straight up giving me like bleach. They had a new thing to like drink and swish. Yeah. That was bleach. Tech. They have new tech they love to show you all the time. Yeah, exactly. Like I didn't I didn't know that there was a, a technology tree uh, for dentists. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, it was crazy. Anyway, so uh, warp flamer, we know about this. Six strength negative two AP. Soul Reaper, very similar, except it does it at a much at longer rate. A more brutal rate. Exactly. And then that's the Inferno Boulder. Yeah. So there's a, there's a lot to like. So the, so the only thing I, the, the last part of this whole puzzle that I need to do is, um, there's the Soul Stone technical paint, which oh, is which the blue it, gem. That, it that makes it look like a gem. Turquoise, yeah. right? No, well, kind of, it, it's a sapphire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes it look like a gemstone. Um, so what you do, it's like candy coat, you, know, um, you ever see candy coated like car paint? Yeah, totally. It's, um, what you do to do that is you do an undercoat of like a silver. Oh, so, so that's why it looks like that. Because your other the other boys look really good. Yeah. So you so I'll do an undercoat of silver on spots and then put the gem gem paint over it. All right. Now this faction, Thousand Suns. This beer, Thousand Suds. So now you know Ooh. why these. Okay, now it. you know why these special gentlemen are here. So you're telling me that this is good. I'm telling you, I drink this. Yeah, like I, I like I, fruit, I, I like the the grapefruit in yeah, it. You get yeah, a lot of it. that's completely unique. The wheat. You invented something new today. Yeah, <laughs> the wheat is sort of, I think, is the thing that sets it apart. Because the rest of it, yeah, well, because the rest of it is is it's like big fruit, 
And then obviously, I think at a different level of carbonation, I think this would be different too. The champagne thing would come out. So it's, it's champagne yeast instead of regular oh, okay. beer yeast. So that's what, that's where some of that fruity. Yeah, yeah that's why that sticks around. Right? Mm. But yeah, if, it, if, it was, if the carbonation on it was cranked, it would even feel like a, it would feel like a, like a whacked out parallel universe champagne. Right. Right? Oh, I love it. That's really good. So I also brought these in, and I, um, Josh, if you want an overhead camera. So my aunt is the typical Italian aunt, and we have like the, you know, Christmas time, there's the big party at Christmas Eve. Yeah. Tons of people. I couldn't go home this year, so I can always count on my aunt to do, give me two things for Christmas. Mm -hmm. Candy and socks, right? Oh yeah. And like, I, I realized I was getting old when she forgot to send me socks, mm -hmm. and I was like bummed. Yeah, you're like, man, I, 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 thought, I thought this was going to be it. Yeah, I was like, man, I miss those black socks that you usually get me. Well, yeah, uh, right now, I mean, I have, a, I have a custom Christmas sock. Wow. That says Blitzed on it. That's great. And it has a cool, and it has a cool oh, reindeer. reindeer. That's all I'm saying. But, so she brought, sent me, these are candies. This is a special candy maker that's, that's in Albany, or Clifton Park, New York, yeah. Albany, technically. Um, and you go there, and it's just this giant house. It's like going to fucking Wonka Land. Oh, really? And you walk in, and there's two seasons. There's Halloween and Christmas. And that's, in this that, house? Yeah, that, that's how they switch those it. Are the, those are the two genders? All right. And they make this amazing German chocolate, but they also do these Christmas candies. Um, and they're all they're like different like flavors and shit. Christmas hard candy. Yeah, it's real good. All right. Well, so, I, 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 listen, I see a, I'm giving you a, a lemon Debbie drop candy. in here. I mean, they're I see all, a lemon like, drop And they're in all here. like ribbon candies and all this other stuff. This but their, their chocolate is amazing. So, oh, this is it. So, oh, this is it. I'm gonna have to get in there. Yeah, oh yeah, try it out. So, I have a nostalgia for my, my mana had just a bowl of these. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and if you needed mm -hmm. them soon enough, they would solidify. Yeah, they right. become sticky. But like, check it out how like, they, this is kind of like, you ever see those Japanese oh, yeah, candies? They, they did that. Where they, where they roll them and then they turn into a shape on the inside? Oh, there you go. Boy. There's, yeah, there's like a watermelon, watermelon one. Touch everything. Oh, man. The lemon drop kicks ass. And then these things are like, these are fucking nuts. They're, these ribbon candies, like, like multiple but this ribbons. But is, this is Grandma Tear. Right, right, right. But they, right? yeah. Well, then I did want to just stand back here again, my two, my two sons. <laughs> uh, are, you, are you in the frame? Uh, are they in there? Uh, <laughs> even Kiko even Tower is above. What do you what do you think? Do you think this is like a lavender candy, like mm -hmm. a purple? Yeah, the old school candy. It, it'll be lavender or like whole like hound or some German crazy shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this one looks cool. Like a man, like a orangey man. Mm -hmm. Well, anyway, candy anyway. is good. Chuck, you know what? That's hurtful. That's hurtful. You see my accusing hand? Ooh. All right, here we go. What one was that? Is that the lavender? Is it purple? I don't know what the hell that is. It tastes like purple. It tastes like purple? That's grape then. Yeah. It might be, it might be like this version of grape, mm. right? Um, well, dude, this kicks ass. Oh. So my grandma, I always know what it's gonna be, except it's sort of devolved now, so it's gone down to the kids. Mm -hmm. I don't get it anymore. But like from, like for my entire life, until I had kids, she sent a Christmas card that had two dollars in it. Two bucks. That's awesome. It was two dollars. Oh, so it wasn't a two. What, it was it a two dollar bill? No, no. Because you know, how, like some feel like oh, some no, people do that. that like, I mean, that's, that's legit. I, yeah. I, I, I feel it. No, no, no two dollar bill. So what happened after that? The kids they got graduated to three bucks, and I'm not. Wow, that's fucked. I'm not. Like it's not okay. I wouldn't be okay with that. I'd have a, I mean, there's a serious conversation. I'll, I'll talk with her about it. Inflation, Jerry, inflation. I'll, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but. Yeah, but I mean, listen, I'm here to tell you right now, $2 didn't go super far in 2000 either. Listen, I mean, that was oh, 200 sweet as fish. If you think about it, you can get a lot of those fuckers for two bucks. Yeah, that's an investment. Fish futures. Fish futures, it's a new thing. Absolutely. Fish NFTs. Uh, oh, yeah. And trying to short fish lately. And, and fish, yeah. and fish teas. And fish teas, yeah. Now, uh, ghostly, if you could yeah. please uh, bring me the Lorp Torp, which I trout, <laughs> non-fishable trout. You goose. There it is. Listen, this is this is good. Yeah, this is great I candy think, too. <laughs> great. This this has got you going. Oh, yeah. Like this is the stuff. How much of this candy in there? 
is going to last. I, it took it took the life of me to only eat like three pieces before I brought this in because this shit this shit would have been gone in like a day. Well, hold on. Did you retape the bottom? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, fuck you, yeah. There's no way I'm not, I'm not diving into these fucking Dude, things. I'm not I mad. I'm not even Why mad. No, here I'm just saying, gaze ye, Chet, gaze ye. Because upon I didn't want this, to, I didn't want it to fall in the car. Gaze ye upon this perfidy. What? 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 what like the, if the if the tape wasn't enough, the fucking bag was open the, when we opened it up. The evidence stands before you. Listen, I'm not a fiend. I'm gonna eat these things. You just, I'm, I'm just amazed I was saved no, that dude, amount. I'm not gonna fuck with you. It's your candy. I can't be, hey, why did you eat your candy yeah. from your aunt? Um, you know how much, like, no, no, strength I'm just, of will? No, or I 40%. just, I saw the tape. Um, I saw of will. the tape. Yeah, exactly. We need we need to talk to Mike Shinoda. Mike Shinoda. He, he helped. He helped. <laughs> he, he can this break thing. us. He can yeah. get Fort Minor in here. Yeah. He can break the whole thing down for us. Obviously, there's some golden ratios. Yeah. Um, that joke just got more. <laughs> no, no. It, there with you. it got precise yeah. Yeah. at the end. Yeah. Um, but that being said, obviously, thousand suds. I think it was. It's a really cool. It's beer. amazing, but also, I mean, the the main thing that we wanted to communicate, right? Was these golden boys with their golden brew. That's it. This, this, uh, and then the champagne and the grapefruit. That just took it to the next level. Yeah, I think it's real. I think it's really neat. Mm. Absolutely. And so you have you have a few others. So maybe in the maybe in the next couple of weeks or something like that. Do you think you'd be able to field? Oh, in the next week. I'm playing next week. Oh, okay. They're gonna perfect. be done next week. So with these guys. All I have to do left, actually with both, so what's kind of neat is with Kill Team, yeah. I had my old Thousand Sons. Yeah, you basically had a unit ready to go. So I was just like, and I and I, ha I, I still have the Space Marines and the Ultra Marines that I want to make, that, that true, are built. True, true, true. But I'm like, I love the Thousand Sons. So I went down to Mox and I was like, Andrew, what do you got? <laughs> and I got the Helldrake, the, the oh, Forge so you, Fiend. So you actually had a Helldrake ready for yeah, you? Yeah, okay, yeah, that's yeah. cool. Um, <laughs> and um, luckily, I had an extra set of these guys just hanging out at my house that I never built. Oh, but probably because to build the kill team that you wanted, you had to mix, yeah, and, match mix and match from yeah, two yeah, boxes, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? So all these guys need uh, is basic, like the base to be done and the blue paint. Same with the Helldrake. He just needs his blue gemstone paint. Yes. So that's gonna that's today and tomorrow missions. I'm loving it. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Let's get it right here. Oh, so I'm. I'm. It sounds like I'm seeing a no out there. It sounds like my test did not function. Hmm. I love. I love these twisted perverts. It's like obvious. It being up is the. That's enough. That's enough. There was no question mark. <laughs> so it's not a question, Jerry. You know what? It's just a statement. They're this saying is, no. This is it's hurtful. Of life. This is hurtful anti-Jerry rhetoric. Now, this is the weirdest ribbon candy ever. Yeah, because it has a like a multitude of flavors from sweet, fruity, and then like peppermint. Poison. Oh, peppermint. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Acid. Yeah, exactly. Sulfur. All right. Now, uh, we have everything that we need mm -hmm. to continue our ritual. Obviously, do, how many do you have in there? Just one. <laughs> oh, it's just a big ribbon. Yeah. It was it was like a it was like a marmot. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. I, 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 there was a cheek. Yeah, it's it's big. It's a big piece of ribbon candy. It, these aren't like thin ribbon candies. These are like fucking massive. No, this is obviously this candy is very serious. Look at that thing. I mean, this is like a meteorite made from sugar. I'm ready to eat it, but uh, we got, we got to figure out a couple hooks. That we can boil down, uh, you know, into our traditional beverages. Yeah, we're, do we want to stick with The Witcher? Do we want to go back to D and D? Do we want to do? Yeah, I mean, it's all good. Um, it's all good because we only just touched on Kaer Morin. There's plenty of other shit that we can get to. Right. Right. The truth is, it'd be like the um, it'd be like when we hit all the the chromatic and metallics. Right. Do we want to do Boba Fett? Thank you, Moomin Targus. Obviously, you could do some some kind of sarlacc goop. Ooh, that's fun. Right? A pudding. A pudding? A pudding. Yeah. A pudding? Thanks, I want to put that down. What, what, what would a Sarlacc yeah. beer be? Oh, yeah. That's an easy one. Some sort of um, New Year's event in D&D? &D? 
almost certainly. I mean, there's a lot of, there's a lot of. Uh, when there, last Stones Day? Last Stones Day is. Um, it's the fall. Okay. It's earlier in the fall, yeah. It's cold weather, but it's not quite here. A sour. If you have another beer, yeah. Oh yeah, Sand Zone, the Tatooine, uh, Tatooine Double Sunset. That's kind of neat. Yeah, that's a good hook. If, if, we're, if we're talking about some Star Wars, the Binary Suns. Okay. How about a generic New Year's brew? No, I don't hate that either. I don't hate that either. Yeah. I don't hate the like, most Isley of beers, the scum and villainy of beer. Ugh. I like that. Well, yeah, it's an imperial double. Yeah, I mean, obviously the oh, yeah, the jokes write themselves. Do a line. Sarlacc pill. Yeah, yeah, Jeff. Sarlacc pills. That's actually okay, you know. Let's do drugs. Um, here, here, here. So New Year's. Here's our themes. Three themes is plenty. Uh, we'll let them. Yeah, from one thousand suns yeah, to two suns. Exactly. Exactly. Protoform. We got the uh, five hundred divisor, and we're not afraid to use it. New beers, you dork. Mm. Dork. Star Star Wart. <laughs> nice. This is a big piece of fucking candy. Yeah, dude, you've been chewing on that motherfucker for a minute. Jeff, Aunt Phyllis got me uh, a um, box of Krause's uh, hard candy. Oh, do they know what's up? up? Yeah, it's my uncle. Oh, cool. Oh, here now, Bob. Hmm? Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh. Just shh. Oh. Mm -hmm. I would, I would never. Then, hmm. oh. Fuck. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. We got a lot to talk about. Oh, I know what you showed him. You do. You probably know. A yeah. Bit. You do. Yeah, I gotta work on that. I'm gonna. I was. I was gonna put my phone in the haunted. The haunted pocket. Un, not functional pocket. And I, I brought it over to the other side. This pocket's great. You can put things in it. And they don't that's, fall, a, that's a functional pocket. They don't fall out on your shoe. People like it. Is that pocket you store cards in from people's necklaces? There's that third pocket. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now uh, they, they're craving this sarlacc. I'm cool with that. Hell yeah! Let's give it to him. I think the digestion time is something to consider. Yeah, a thousand, <laughs> a thousand years. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So days. what the hell does that look like? Profile. What? The, oh god. What, Beer profile wise, what does that look like? Yeah, Sour lack? Did Josh is already ahead of it? Yeah. Yeah, not me. <laughs> Chainsaw. Oh yeah, well yeah, we know how CG does it. Oh gosh, the best, the crazy part about this CG, it's like your pun is even better than you thought, because it'd almost certainly be some kind of lactobacillus. Mm. Mm. It's, uh, it just writes itself. And sour's your favorite, so it's good. Mm, it's, yeah. it's the best. Okay, so so what are we thinking? What, so when you think about the sarlacc, sarleasy, yeah, certain right. MC Sarlix. yeah, um, in the house. What traits does that? Okay, so you're digested over a thousand no, years. Yeah, exactly. Right? So it's uh, it's gooey. It's yeah. death. Allegedly, we don't know. What it looks Allegedly, like we do we now. Do now, oh, oh, really? oh yeah. Oh, I. I we know exactly. Oh, here, no, it's out no, there. No spoilers. No spoilers, but you know he, he gets out. It's juicy. <laughs> he he gets out somehow. Yeah, I mean I figured that. Actually, it was great. No, uh, Patton Oswalt described exactly how he got out. I, mean, I remember I remember that scene because we actually just watched through all that with the, with, with the, the, the kids. Old Parks and Rec. It yeah. was amazing. No, the kids got closer. the kids yeah. got hooked. We're showing them Community now. They 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 don't know what to do oh, with it. Oh God. I want they don't know to, do to live it. through a community paintball scenario one day in my life. That's it. That, I, that's how I know it's, my life will be completed. Yeah, it's still quite yeah. good. Yeah, um, be indoors, but no. Yeah, but that has to happen. I, I dare say I like the paintball episodes more than I like the D and D episodes. Well, there was an abandoned. There was like an abandoned school uh, in Spokane that was a, a paintball facility. That's cool. And it. It's like, that's like where birthdays were. Like for several years, that's where the birthdays happened. That's awesome. And it, it is scary. This place is scary inside. And it's like slippery and cold to the touch. It gets worse mm -hmm. the more you play. Yeah. The ground. Yeah, it was thick and dangerous. Now. Okay, uh, so. So styles. 
Stas. God, what, what do <sighs> I like the Sarlacc pills that um, yeah. Ugin said, because it is. It's just the acid, right? Yeah, it's the it's straight, pure. It's going to be all hops. Yeah, if we, if we, if we, you know exactly. I mean? Like like this version of a pills. Yeah. It, it might be a little bit off style, but the IBU would be north, right? Yeah. Or it's just you know sitting there for. I mean, you have to let it ferment for a while. Yeah, exactly. But um, taking taking pills and putting some twists on it would be good. What about a rye PA? Yeah, to me it, that it, is it like have that little like. Note that like that off, spicy, spicy like, note. Like this is the gooey. Like rye is gooey when you it is. when you get it wet. It so is. So this is the gooey juices of the slime. slime. Yeah, that's there we go. Pill, so that's right? your that's your digestive uh, fluid there. The pills, maybe that's the result. Mm -hmm. Like after, that's like oh, that's a good way to look at it. After it's already worked, it's like this is what a, this is like this what is a the spider goo? pulls out. Yeah. Of its prey. That's cool. Um. What, what, what about like just the teat, the maw of the of the pit? Right? Uh, okay, so something. Let's see what what, what would shark or like, be or in or that like case? the the like, the, the either, structure. Either that or like when you're standing, you know, on the edge of that um, gangplank, looking over and like thinking about the death. Yeah, of the the, tre years. the trepidation. Like what 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 soothes you? What what's your last drink? Yeah, there we go. Well, yeah, and, and honestly, they're jumping off of a they're literal they're jumping off of a literal bar. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like who who among us has not fantasized about all the stuff that is on R 2s tray? R two trays and what? Yeah, I've yeah, thought yeah. about it a lot. Yeah, <clears throat> like I thought about it a couple times, and I think they made a figurine that had the actual they tray. Did. Oh. They did. And it was great. See, I couldn't have those because the, my mom didn't want my sister to eat oh, the accessories. That's not where I thought you were going with that. I'm still mad. I'm still mad. It makes you a pariah if you don't have a... Really? Yeah. Yeah. You're an outcast. I mean, uh, arguably I was an outcast already, but it didn't help. Did this really just up the bar? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so what, what, would be, what would be that aspirational beverage up top? Like, what's that last... I think a British strong ale would be kind of mm -hmm. fortifying. Yeah, fortifying for that last dive. The last thing I hear before into the Sarlacc pit is a Wilhelm scream, though, for sure. It yeah. is. Ah! Yeah, it's totally a Wilhelm scream. Yeah, once you start hearing it. So take a look at. Do not put sour on there, Jerry. Yeah. Because there's no sour. It's gross. Because fuck what? sours. Oh, what? I mean, no, I love pussy, Jerry. Well, sour. guilty as charged. I mean, it, listen, we're we're really trying to revamp old number fifty four and just yeah. I mean, try old, not to old fifty four will just Maybe make just save that for sours. Yeah, exactly. Well, well I mean, obviously, <laughs> but go. but that's how it actually. But but I, I just I can't stress enough. That's actually how it works in real life. <laughs> once once if you whatever you've used to make sours, that's it now. <laughs> That's what it's for. That's an industrial practice. That shit needs to be sour contained ice. in its own room. Some yeah. Mouth yeast. Yeah. Sour, that'd be perfect. Sweet and sour beer, just ferment all that sauce. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just boil it way down. Something like a beer cocktail, if you will. What is just Thousand Suds? Did you have the, the ABV on there by any chance? I think it was a lie. I don't think it was. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't think we can trust our our four point five like technologies. Floater thingies that will test ABV, like an actual like. Oh yeah, there's 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 other there's yeah, other systems and mechanisms. I, I just mean like in the recipe, what was it intended to do? Oh, it was a rye IPA, huh? Yeah. Okay. Very cool. Well, and that's a nice spin off of the regular IPA stuff. And obviously, you know, rye is part of it. It's part of this balanced breakfast, right? Like cinnamon toast crunch? Indeed. Well, like all that shit. At least we got the rye, if we didn't get the sour. That's right. Now, but I'm just saying, I mean, take a look. Just compare the two. Look at these stunted, tiny weirdos. Like the last rye one we did was my favorite of all of them. Uh, rye, 
Rye is ready. Rye is ready for a, a resurgence. A comeback? Yeah. But yeah, I mean, over here, big husk, lots of fun. This rye, I mean, you can see on here, it's almost like a coffee bean, like how tight mm -hmm. and sort of astringent the basic seed is. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's one of these kids is doing his own thing. Like right. You compare this, it's just like, oh man, that's incredible. More of this, please. And the rye, you have to sit with it. <laughs> you really just, it's like, we need to have a talk. Yeah. You wanna, the rye, it's like. You wanna console? This, well, yeah, right, it's, it's like the kid in the after school special that starts hanging out with the wrong crowd. Yeah, I get it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just changes them. Mm. All right, all right. Rye PA, the time yep. to get the guardrails? Yep. So usually we're about 5.5 to 8%. So, like, yeah. an eight percent is the, just the acid that's burning away at your body, right? The the stomach yeah. flu in. It's begun to chew. The five point five is you being there for about you know a thousand years. Yeah. By then, it's evened out a little bit. Yeah. Oh no, Jeff, we got the gambit of these candies. Here's the the red one with the cross is pretty amazing. You might want to try that one. Really? Uh, I can't remember what the flavor of profile of it is, but yeah. But good is... Uh, oh, it's great! Yeah. Oh, the lemon drop. Oh, that's great! Isn't that like the cherry one or something? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's just a perfect yeah. cherry candy taste. I like that one too. Oh, see, because you can get candies that look like this, mm -hmm. And they're not good. Right. <laughs> right. Right? Sometimes it's because they're not fresh. Yeah, maybe that's part of it. But you can get candies that are that are these classic styles that are really, really okay. Right? And sometimes we are subjected to them. This it's I, cherry candy taste, not it, medicine, but exactly. Right. It it's, yeah, it's, not so the, it's not the medicinal taste, yeah. Mm -mm. Cherry. It doesn't have that bite. Uh all right. So here's our ABV. That five, you know, maybe it's mellowed. Well, five, five is just you being digested over the course of, mm -hmm. like, you know, over that millennia, years, yeah. right? Mmm. What an incredible taste. Mm. I really like the lemon drops. Mmm. I'm kind of curious as to what this white one yeah. is. With see the you, blind Eric. <laughs> he no like the mouth sounds. Understandable. In my defense, the candy was very good. Mm. <laughs> Turn this out. You know what? I love the mouth sounds. I actually, that's why I'm staying. I'm subscribing for mouth sounds. The Sarlacc is a mouth-centric creature. <clears throat> You're right, yeah. No, it's, it's keyed in, obviously. So, now that if you take a look at the, um, if you take a look at the Pico, you can see what that a thing is stuffed. You can see what a very, very small amount of patent malt. Yeah, look at that, that, that left side. <laughs> you can see what the the balance of the grain basket is looking like. But when you get up into that corner, you can see what a very small amount of patent will do to your SRM. Fuck yeah. Patent Osmalt. Patent Osmalt. Oh, geez, we gotta make that beer. Yeah. Now, what I was gonna say is that. What made Patton Oswalt's thing funny was because it was so inside baseball. Right? Right? Well, like you it's knew a, he, he did like the, that, and he the, was talking, like, that was from him. That's the fandom yeah. stuff. Like, that's the stuff that we had all been discussing. What makes it funny is that it is, is that it's, it's what we have been saying forever. Right. And it's, you know, they had like the, there's like a super old EU, back in a totally other era of the EU. Oh yeah, before everything got crushed and, you know, jettisoned yeah. into the, the outer, outer, outer. Rim. Rim. Okay. Oh yeah, oh, it's yeah. old school. Yeah, CG. That's definitely true. 
He has well, that. Remember, like, Shadows of the Empire? That was, like, one of my favorite books after uh, the trilogy. Oh, yeah. I mean, they... And then so that's a, a lot. A lot of the like the organized crime stuff, mm -hmm. right? There we go. So it's, it's like it's running out of power. I just need to let it charge for a second. Even, oh. though, even though it's like plugged in, it's just a very old. Wait, battery, so is the I thing think. still going? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because because yeah. that happens up in the in the cloud. In the cloud. Oh man! <laughs> just keeps crashing. Yeah, it I just. Can end this pole. What's that? I can end the poll for you. Yeah, you might have to. Do you have poll? Do you have poll.ma.pe there? Oh yeah. Okay, yeah. I mean, you you may have to enter some of these. Uh, I'm just gonna I'm gonna let this charge for a second here. Man, we have been doing some high ABV beers lately too. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure I'm sure it's for a reason. Yeah, Spidey Mark, the X-Wing books were the ones that um, Mike liked the best. He, mm -hmm. he stuck around for those books forever. Yeah, Proto, I would say that a lot of the, like the Mandalorian, which is probably the coolest of, of the new Star Trek stuff, um, a lot of that really feels drawn from old EU stuff to me. We got a solid five. All right. Solid five. Solid five, great. Um, now we're gonna go to color. The SRM is usually between six and 14. Okay. So what does that mean for this kind oh, of beer? Star Trek Mandalorian, yeah. Ugh. I messed so, it up, don't clip it. Huh? I said Star Trek, which is something that I often do. You did what? Yeah, I know, I, I'm not proud of it. If in my defense, I mean, this I like, is a I like drinking both. show. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> all right, no, Eddie Daisy, no. Now, Star Trek. Yeah, exactly. That's the best one. That's Those the best track one. Track wars. All right, here. Yeah, exactly. Now for SRM. So for, we're, we're looking at I feel like RPAs have been a little bit darker. They're, yeah, they're normally on the darker side. Right. But what? But you know, who cares? Yeah. How does this re uh, relate yeah. to the Sarlacc? Exactly. So it is the. Like, are we going for the sand theme, which is going to be a lighter? You know, right. like a seven right. or eight. I mean, are we looking for something in a, yeah, sandy, blonde? Are we talking about a... Uh, a yeah, blood? Yeah, I mean, there's there is a, a there's a blood. There's the... Are we, this is like the digested slurry, just the, a person reduced to a nutrient-rich fluid. Mm -hmm. I mean... What do we want for numbers? Yeah, there's a range in here. I say we do eight. We do 11. Eight's yeah. gonna be, or, or let's do seven, 11, and uh, 17. Yeah, that's a good range. So seven's gonna be the sand around the Sarlacc pit. 11 is gonna just be at the maw, mm -hmm. right? Where you're just getting crunched a little. That's right. 16 and then the, is you being turned into juices. Yeah, that's the nutrient rich, it's out of the 17 level. 17. It's the nutrient rich, yes. That's oh, shit, those watermelon ones are great. It got a hold of you. <laughs> so this is this is the box, huh? Krauses. Krauses. Yeah, well, there was so much. When we were in um, Philadelphia, there was this, like, there was two things. There was, like, a Christmas market. Mm -hmm. but then oh, there was also, did you, did but, you finally get to the Christmas yeah, market? But there was a Christmas market, yeah, but there's also a Christmas village. Oh, yeah. And the Christmas village, I mean, I'm not familiar with it, but it had, like, a. it definitely seemed like it had a Bavarian oh, totally. theme of some no, kind. There's, like, a like a brew hall with, like, pretzels and beer, like, the, the you know, the old, like, pitted um, yeah. glasses. Yeah. And no, you're just sitting seemed... there, like, with a Christmas tree and a pretzel and a beer. Well, it's you know, freaking great. Like, there, there's, like, uh, traditional music on yeah. a stage. And then a lot of crafts. Um, it was, yeah, I mean, it was, my mom would have lost her mind, basically. Yeah. A, a very Leavenworth type. I love Leavenworth. Type vibe, I, for I, sure. Yeah. I don't care who knows it. I don't care who knows it. I love it. I dig it. Yeah, the Patty Jenkins Rogue Squadron movie seems like it's on a uh, big old pause. Mm. Uh, times, it was kind of cool. Was there Glog? Probably. That madness are like mouth. All right, here. So I think seven is healthy. 
I think we're good. Whatever protoform might have suggested, uh, I think we like seven. Okay, so five, seven, and, and the next one is our IBUs. So it's an IPA. It's, it's, it's an IPA, it's a rye PA, yeah. and it's designed to uh, imitate digestive fluid. Right. So we're going north. So fi 50 to 75 is yep. the normal range. Yep. We could go north of 75, but honestly, your taste buds... You can't, you can't go north. Your taste buds can't go north of 80. Right. So if you or can't, if you can't you perceive it, yeah. it's probably, you know, it's probably fine. So what are our numbers? Yep. 50 is the base. Um, and then I might say uh, maybe 60, 3, and 75. Ooh, a scotch egg, yeah, absolutely chainsaw. Have you had scotch eggs? What is a scotch egg? God, I don't know how to describe is a scotch Is it a bar thing? No. Is it a bar snack? Yes and no, I mean, you yeah. can get it at bars, but it's an egg that, a uh, hard boiled, is, oh yeah, hard boiled egg that is surrounded by sausage. Ooh. Essentially, is that is that how you describe it? Like, yeah, basically. I mean, that sounds pretty good. <laughs> yeah, it's an egg and a sausage meatball, exactly. <laughs> that sounds great. I can't believe you haven't had one before. I mean, that sounds exquisite. Yeah. Yeah, wrapped in sausage meat, coated in bread, crumbs, and baked, or deep fried. Absolutely. Fried? Yeah, they're, far, they're absolutely delicious. 63, nice. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Well, yeah, there's a whole there's whole classes of foods whose purpose is simply to accompany uh, Drinking yeah, I guess it, it, it's bar food. It's definitely bar food because it's like um, almost as, as that tapas feel right It's like it's like a single it's thing. Snacky. You yeah. just grab it you hit it and then you're ready to go well, I mean, it's I mean how big are we talking about? Oh, oh, okay. It's like this big. Oh, okay. That's not that's not right. That's Din that's, that's more dinnery. Yeah, no, uh, it's, if, it's in if, between if dinner and snacks. If the meatball is this big? <laughs> well, if, if, if a real meatball is that big, it's not a meatball, it's an abomination. But... <laughs> um, it's, a, it's a hideous yeah, act. But a scotch egg, I mean, it is, it is, you know, like that, right? Like... Yeah. So... It's got the bread in? Yeah, it's real good. Man, but, I mean, like so you just, up. like, you'll just, you know, take your fork, cut it, have a bite, have a sip. Yeah, kind I of mean, just go. Through. It's, a cool, it's a cool app. I'm inspired by this. I, my thing seems to be working again, Josh. Um, 19, it is. What? Uh, well, 19 63. votes. 63. 63? Yeah. <laughs> I saw. I saw this number and I was like, that's a cool number. Yeah, okay. 63 mm -hmm. okay. is the uh, the IBU. So it's going to be tangy, but it's not going to be crazy pants. It's going to have a unique level of. I dig uh, it. Of hop. Let's get it. Okay, so um, let's talk about our base malts. Mm -hmm. Two row is the initial place we start with this one because that's a basis of yeah. most IPAs, and it is it'll give us a dry, clean, and crisp sand like that is the sand that the sarlacc is in. Yeah, exactly. It's a pale. Yeah, two mm -hmm. row. All right. Um, we could do Golden Promise. Well, I mean, Golden Promise is already in that. It's in that mix as well. The sparkling sands. Or we could do Vienna. Vienna would be kind of neat because it's a little more bready. It's yeah. a little more malty. Um, it's kind of like the digestive period, right? Yeah. It, it, this, is, this is where you're being converted into starches. Into, into food. This is where you are the food. <laughs> yeah, and that'll be, a nice, that'll be a nice base for it, too, that has a different... Uh, character. Yeah, we'll cast those up there. Let me try to write down those other ones before I forget. IBU was 63 somehow. 63? Okay. Yeah, I know. They're perverts. Well, I mean, they just voted for the one I put out there, but but still, I want to so blame them. You I want to blame them into. Yeah, exactly. That's basically perverted it. Them. You yeah. perverted people. Yeah, I'm a perverter. Hmm. A lot of oh, questions. Yeah. Moomin Tarkas, I will tell you that when I try to cook tofu, it is very bad 100% yeah. of the time. I can never do it. My friend uh, K 
Kelly Faust, who was the bass player in the two bands I was in, which if you ever feel like looking them up on the Yub Tub or whatever, they're available to you. They're both ridiculous. The first one is called The Righteous Corn Farmers. That's the high school band. The second one... Jesus Christ, that's so incredibly you. It, it, honestly, ironically, I did not actually name that. Really? No, somebody else said it and I was like, we have to do it. That's, <laughs> that's too ridiculous. But no, I did name the second one, which was the fine print. And that... Seriously? Yep. And that band definitely played in dive bars. That was like getting paid in Paps Blue Ribbon Bar. That's the, that's the, that's the place that when we, we played in the Tri-Cities. Oh. And we definitely did uh, get paid in pitcher upon pitcher of Paps Blue Ribbon. That's great. And we found out that the Denny's in um, the Tri-Cities, that they'll serve you hard alcohol. They'll serve you cocktails at four in the morning. Shit, they don't right. give a shit. They don't give a shit. I mean, this. Uh, what is this place that it needs that? So what's really funny is on the East Coast, and I, I haven't seen it much out here, but most diners are Greek. They're all like yeah. all diners are Greek diners. Really? Yeah. And they have a bar. They always have this weird like square bar in the center of the diner, and it's not like a real bar. Like you don't sit at it. It's just like a bar for them to go to make cocktails. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just. It's just. It's just an optimal yeah. setup for them. But the same thing, you can drink cocktails while getting like pancakes and hash browns. <laughs> yeah, th th that's the thing, dude. It's moons over my hammy yeah. and, a and a fucking Bloody gin and tonic, Mary. You know what I mean? Like, what the shit? It was insane. They want the Vienna. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, dude, I, I saw that essay. Uh, but didn't they eventually remove it? Didn't they eventually delete that tweet? I was like, wow, <coughs> well, um, that's bold. Here, I don't even want to repeat it. It says, here's Essay's line right up here. His name is Red. And that's a real tweet. Whoa! That Pabst. Whew. Wow. Ay, ay, ay. That's a whole new blue ribbon. Jesus. Now, Rex Verdi is saying there's a bar and a massive pastry case. Does that track? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's like um, baklava. Like, it's like the size of this bar, but wide oh. and tall, full of pastries and, and like cakes and pies. What? I don't understand it. And that, but but that's but it's like it's just part of it. You need to see everything we can provide you with. It's just part of the thing. Sometimes you want a pie at three a.m. Yeah, a. I, I swear to God, going to the East Coast is a whole fucking food experience that's completely different. Yeah, it's, it's, it sounds like some alien shit. Now, well, but, but, like, you, it's, it's but like, you like our Beths. Oh. You, think our, you think that our Beths is Oh, it's amazing. I, I just wish it was open. Yes, yes. Well, we should check and see if no, they're... it's still closed. It's still fucking... Yeah, it's still closed. Yeah, the best, the best part about Beths might be the menu. Yeah. Where, because they offer like a 13-egg omelet. And it's amazing. I mean, it's it's a that's a family meal. I but, but I'm saying that like there's that chicken on the front, who is being annihilated. Yeah, yeah. I assume by the production required. So I'm searching for like a new version or, or something close to Beth's in town, because we now we have this like Sunday brunch tradition or brunch tradition with a couple of people. Yeah. And uh, nothing comes close to Beth, but there's this place called like Volas or Vulas. It's a yeah. Greek. Like it's a Greek place. Oh, well, there you go. Um, right down by the North Star Cafe, like Ivar's, oh, underneath the bridge. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or North Downtown. Star, North Star Pizza Diner or Bar, yeah. Or whatever. Yeah. But and then we went to Blue Star, which is up in Wallingford. Oh, yeah, Blue Star's not bad. Yeah. They got. A, they have a. That was one of the first places in town. Like when we moved over here, one of the first places that I ended up like trying and like it was like my place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they yeah. also had um, Blue Moon. Yeah, which I was just like, I wasn't into beer yet. But yeah, well, and I was like, but, but oh, probably hey. at that time too, Blue Moon was still like the craft craft beer, beer right? Yeah. All right, hey, so we got that. We're good. Now, what's next? So, what do you think about doing? We could do another. Since this is an IPA, we can do another base malt on here. We could just add some pills in there. Yeah, just or some two or some two row just to give it more crispiness. Here we go. Or we can say no. So pills is going to be the clean. Yeah, very clean and crisp. Um, and we can do some two row, which is going to be the same thing, but just not as clean as uh, I think pills would be. Yeah. It's a little bit sweeter out of these two. We could do the Copeland two row. That would make it sweet. There we go. Ooh. 
Or, or no, we don't have to do any of them. Yeah, exactly. If, if you just want to do Vienna, nothing bad's going to happen to us. Well, I mean, Graham, I mean, a boiler maker is just a pilsner with any kind of whiskey you want to throw in it, really. True. But it, yeah, I mean, it have, it's got the body. They have the body. Man, the place that I used to like was, um, it's just, it's like, um, there's a set IHOP. It's just, it's like a local pancake chain. Oh, the, like the original pancake original house? Original pancake house. Yeah. Yeah, but there used to be yeah. one like, there used to be one like within three blocks. Yeah, there's one like a mile down the road that uh, we used to go to. And uh, it was the first time I ever saw, it's was it like a Dutch baby or something yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those it's like, hey, cool you, gotta, as shit. you gotta wait 20 minutes. Yeah. But it's, you know, it's coming. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. I've never they're seen they're that so before. so easy to make. It's really cool. You can do it at home. Hmm. If you have 20 minutes and like a bunch of eggs. Eggs, yeah. You can make this happen. But no, my children are like composed of of pancakes from the original. Like we went there probably every week. No kidding. For a decade. Yeah, well, I, when the silk was young, it's just like finding anything that they wanted to eat right. was really, really hard. I get that. And it was not an issue there. They, That's they cool. still have it. It's just a crepe. I just I, I just love um Greasy spoons. Yes. Like they're just awesome. Exactly right. And I think that that's, that's actually like a solid one. Yeah. Um, all right. Hey, they, they want that clean and crisp. Oh, cool. Okay. Oh, you didn't give them the no option. I thought that I did. That's fine. Well, but I think, I think pills is really cool. Just a touch. Just a touch. Oh, uh, EMW says, hey, Jerry, what is the ankle update? How is the daughter unit? So they are at school today. Uh, hobbling through the halls, um, so I mean, it, it seems like it's basically okay. Two, three days after they were able to put, at first they couldn't. <coughs> two, three days after they were putting weight on it, and uh, now they're hobbling around the house and you know chasing pets and doing all the normal shit. Okay, so we have, we have a we have a good malt base right. in there. So now, I mean, we know we're putting rye in here, so we don't have to go into yeah, that boat. Rye is there. But what other flavors do we want to add to this? Is it a roasty characteristic? Is it a chocolatey characteristic? Is it caramel? Um, yeah, like a little syrup. Is yeah. it biscuity? Yeah. Like, how, how does this relate to that 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 pit? Well, yeah, that burning, right? So it, it, we could put in something in there that was a little bit more like a put a little bit of a coffee note in there, right? That could be interesting. And so, that'd be patent? Uh, no, um, actually. And then I'll give them a no option on this, on this round too. Uh, roasted barley oh. is gonna give us. Yeah, the uh, more astringent taste. A burnt, grainy, coffee-like flavor. Okay, so we got a coffee note, yep. and then we would do special B for caramel. Uh, no, we could do a crystal for caramel. I think that's, I think crystal it, is going to play more into the sand notes of the of. Uh, yeah, it's a little drier. Of, yeah, Tatooine. Yeah, and um, we could do a chocolate. Yep, chocolate malt. I think I got this one. Uh, do you? Chocolate and. Chocolate and oh. chocolate oh. and coffee. Nutty. Nutty. Oh, that's right. That's right. Nutty. I don't remember that. Yeah, it has that that toasted mm -hmm. that toasted grain vibe. And then it's like, and also it's like, no, thank you. I have to remember to hit enter. On the last one, yeah, that's we have a chance here, uh, CG, to sort of write it the way we want it to go. <laughs> Caramel-ish for the salty taste of the dune. Mm. Uh, Watchworth, welcome back. Well, laptop, thank you. 
Did it just... No, no, it, it, it's working now, and I just ah, want to okay. take a moment to let it know... That you appreciate it? That I am on the same page with it. Yeah, exactly. I, I'm going to turn this, I'm gonna turn the screw closest to Holy Terra first. Um, two kyber crystals. <laughs> nice. Nerd. Um, so the truth is there's, there is a significant no thank you contingent. I think it's cool. I mean, any way I this think goes, so too. That the we pills, could just stop the here. Pills Vienna is mwah. Oh yeah. Ape it. Uh, of course, you know, a couple days after I announced the Wordle thing, then I get shredded. I, I just could not figure it out. But I mean, there's Freaking no defense. There, there's no defense, right? Um, there's no defense for what I did. Wait, what the hell? What did you do? I failed 100%. What do you mean? Uh, Telp, this is a Sarlacc beverage. Um, well, I, I, I refuse to give in to this game. Well, no, so. and, 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 and neither will Mike. Yeah. Mike is, not, I'm, Mike, I'm, Mike is not a part of it. In fact, that's... I that's, feel like this is just a way to humble brag on Twitter, and I'm not going to be a part of that nonsense. This is literally what Mike said. Yeah. And so uh, Wednesday's comic is about that literal thing. Are you serious? Oh, yeah. That's great. It's about that dynamic. Basically, the first line is, is he's like, I don't want to see any more green squares on my Twitter feed. Yeah. There we go. Now we're talking. It's real good. Like yeah. I, that grapefruit is killer in there. Yeah. No. This is this oh. is hot shit, man. This is really good stuff. Um, so at the end of the day, no, they want the no thank you. They want they want to extract I think all cool of those shit. kink ass notes, and they want right. to go straight to the juice. So oh, oh, we gotta get, I got. Sorry, I gotta put Ryan here real quick. Mm -hmm. Oh, here's a fun one. Super Rye. The ultra rye. <laughs> Mega rye. No, do we, um, do we, um, use regular rye or chocolate rye? Oh, interesting. The choice is yours. Is it, it's like a toasted rye? Yeah. I have definitely had chocolate rye. There was that big, um, there was that that rye festival at Rubens like a million years yeah, ago. Yeah, it was great. And they that's that was definitely I was trying to figure out one of the vibes because rye obviously has a unique taste, but it's not uh, it's not a roasted taste, right? It isn't that far into that stuff. Chocolate rye. That explains it. Yeah, chocolate rye is really good. Yeah, so regular rye or chocolate rye? Boba's flamethrower makes it toasted rye. Yeah. I mean, I'm into it. I think it's a great hook. Regular old demon rye. Hell rye. Hell riser. <laughs> Dork. Regular old human rye. Weird. But good. But weird. But like, good. this is a sour I can handle, right? Like, this has some of the notes of a sour. Hey, well, it's grapefruit. Exactly, right? So, it, but it's, it's, it's this type of bitterness. Do you like grapefruit in general? Oh, yeah, I love grapefruit. That's interesting. It's weird that I don't a, like sours. Yeah. I mean, I'm not, I'm not that, saying that it isn't like, true. Like, traditionally, like, your, your lips are puckering when you have a grapefruit, right? Like, <sighs> yeah, but the grapefruit is my thing. Hmm. I'll just eat them. Just straight up. Yeah, I'm like that with onions. How sad yeah, is that? No, my, no, no, my, my, my dad onions. is this way, or was this way. Like, uh, when so he could eat. Like during the pandemic, when everybody was making sourdough bread, I was teaching myself to caramelize onions. <laughs> and like I, that, I, I was sustaining myself. I just could eat batches of caramelized onions. Hell yeah! It's they want, so they want the regular human rye. Okay. CG, you know that you're engaging in wickedness. You know that you're engaging in wicked behavior. Yeah, I was just gonna say times. I know that like the grandparents can't have grapefruit because it like accentuates the efficacy of some drugs, like blood thinning drugs or something oh, like yeah, that. Oh yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a couple things like uh, cherries do that as well too. I think. Really? Yeah. There's a couple ones that um, like if you're on blood thinners, like I have to be on blood thinners for my right. stuff, and I can still eat it because I'm not on a high dose of it, but there. Are, 
there's like a list of like shit, like actual herbalistic remedies for thinning out your blood, right? Oh, like, oh yeah, so there's other, are, they offer you other things? No, but it's just there. Like, like you're it's like, out there. if you're on this, don't eat this because it's gonna thin out your blood more. Jesus Christ. Right, so you know there is like. Yeah, all right, no, so take another look at the grain basket and, and look, gaze ye, uh, precious chat, and see how darkness has, has taken hold. It's taken root, it also smells really good. Um, what was our uh, SRM? Uh, the SRM. Uh, that, Seven? Well, Eight? I mean, no, that was that was when my that was when my thing fucking broke down. Anybody remember the SRM? I think it was it wasn't high. I think it was like seven or eight, right? I think it was. Well, th it was seven. Was the low one? It was seven. Yeah, I thought. Seven? Yeah, yeah, seven. Okay, perfect. Thanks, one, Sophie. Listen, if two people have gathered in the name of seven. And our ABV was 8%, right? The ABV was 8. Okay, we're done here. Cool. And then the IBU is 63. But we, 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 that's the next part. So what flavor of hops do we want oh, to think about? Well, hold on. It was 5%. Oh, no shit. Okay. I, 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 yeah, yeah. Low ABV one. Yeah, made death, you're exactly right. Just a few gentle clicks. All it takes. Thanks, Beer Smith. Thank you, Beer Smith. All right. All right. Now we got our stuff in there. Now IBUs are sixty-three for when it comes time to figure out the hops. Okay. It, well, now is the time. Well, perfect. So, what flavors do we want to know? So we can do a couple different hops. We don't have to just stick with one hop here. That's true. So we need a bittering it hop, and then. Good. Exactly. I think it would be good to get a couple in there. Yeah. Just because this. We're we're trying to model something strange, but you're also digesting a lot of different juices, right? I think I think I think we want to have because sometimes we just do one. This is my digesting juices. Well, no, I I, 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 like, I, I I was intimately familiar with the model yeah. as soon as you did it. No, what I'm saying is that we should definitely offer because sometimes we just do one and we're out. We should definitely offer that aroma hop choice separate, right? But in terms of the flavor. Not AVP, you goose. I, you know, I never watched the Alien vs. Predator stuff. I, I just didn't want to cross genres. Well, I like them both too much that I, I don't I mean, want to... I, I definitely watched AVP. Did you? One. Yeah, well, and, and then and then I just, I checked out completely from all that kind of stuff. Like, I didn't watch any of the new, like, the Prometheus stuff. Like, after the first one... Wait, Prometheus was the prequel to... That was actually, I liked that one. I didn't see the other part, like the sequels or whatever, whatever the I hell they did. I didn't see the sequels. I saw the first one. I didn't think that was that bad. I don't know. Uh, but you have to understand, like, Aliens is I get in your, like, in your concept, in your dynamic, Aliens is the altar upon which alien, everything... Yeah, alien. I mean, yeah. They're both fucking yeah. baller. Um, but holy shit. Future Me, do you have any New Zealand hops? I've heard they're good. Well, they are supposed no, to be New good. New Zealand hops are actually fantastic. Yeah, yeah, but we can definitely hook them up. Now, Sadus hops for bittering. Is that a real one? Mm. Yeah, Gao, exactly. You gotta watch out for that ring. But what, what kind of flavors do we want for... The tastes. Um, yeah, in, in this pit. I mean, tobacco and earthy, is that something... I think earth and mud is probably a, a great... Right. A great baseline. <coughs> um... Oh, Pookie Man, thank you so much. So how about, what do you think about Tomahawk? Um, includes, it's black pepper, licorice, curry, and subtle citrus. Weird. How do you feel about that as a, for bitter? Yeah, that's a that's a lot. There's a lot of cool stuff going on there, and because the malt bill is pretty simple, I feel like it can fly. Right. Right. I think that's a winner. Um. Oh, we're we're seeing some Chinook. Yeah, we could do Chinook. Some Chinook. Chinook. Herbal piney smoky. smoky. Oh, ho ho ho. Uh, 
Um, this is one second. Yeah, these are all great for our, our bittering. You got some, you got an outsider pick? Ooh, Millennium. I feel like. Oh, Millennium. That's gross. But listen, that's hard not to. <laughs> resin, floral, toffee, and pear. When they say resin, they mean like pine? Piney, yeah. Yeah. I'm just saying that. Dude, that sounds nuts. I don't know if we can get it, but we'll see if we can. We will absolutely reach out for it. <coughs> so our flavor hops are all really bold. These are flavor. This is bittering. This is the bittering, the, 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 the basic one. Like there's a lot. Of, oh, yeah. There's a lot going on here. Yeah, a thousand year digestion highly implies fermentation. Yes. Absolutely. Uh, well, Weizenbach will take a look at Simcoe for another round. Yeah, I mean those are all those yeah, are all really pretty, cool. Yeah. Millennium seems like a that's a weird one. Oh, wait. Got some boxes. What is it? I don't know. None of your business. None of your beeswax. Yeah, Alright. All right. Well, look, I, I feel like Tomahawk is taking it away. Yeah, I think it's good. It's it's a neat. Yeah, it's great. Well, it, it, that's just a super weird. <laughs> that's a weird combo over there for sure. But yeah, this is going to be a significant. Um. So, what do we want to go for flavor though? Like flavor and aroma of this beer, right? Because so yeah. I mean. It's kind of weird because it, this is a digestive period, but what the hell is everybody eating while they were being digested? Like, well, what's in their well, stomach? Yeah, yeah, how the hell are you going to live for a thousand years? Right. right? That's that's the part that didn't make any sense to me. You got to eat what's inside the stomach. That's how you live. Ugh. It's yeah. just mega horror. I mean, the actual the original you know, book, the like back in the day. The original book that sort of described how he escaped from it implies that the Sarlacc is like a psionic, like a psychic monster, and that's part of what it's eating, and so it's like talking to you the whole time. Yuck. Mm. Gross. Great. All right. Now, so we're talking about flavor hops. Yeah. What flavors do we want to yeah, go exactly. with? Exactly. So what, what are you reaching out to get at in there, right? Well, it's like, got to be, it's got to be plants. There's got to be some kind of symbiotic plant. Yeah, like, like, like grass, right? Okay, so how about like some Sriracha Ace, maybe? Sriracha Ace is cool. Let's get some flavor. And we should be able to get it. Oh, yeah. Intense lemon flavor and tea Weird. with some coriander notes. Nuts. That's that's kind of that's kind of neat when you use it no. against... Like a lemongrass. Against the... Um, Ooh. What is it? Like a lemon grass. Oh wow. Well, here, here. After, after we get this up, then I'll, I'll I'll dig this out and I'll put it on the camera. Okay. Um, yeah, sriracha ace. That's got a really neat. That's going to provide over the top of the bittering. That's going to provide a really neat, right. crisp flavor profile. Equinot. I know that I've I've heard of it. Um, we could do topaz. It's light. It's uh, flavors of uh, lychee, clove spice, and grassy tones. Ooh. Yeah, because uh, you have to think about it, right? Inside this thing, it is going to be an ecosystem. Yeah. It would have to be, right? If this thing can digest you for a thousand years, how, yeah. long has, how long do these fucking things live? Right. Right? If one meal is a thousand years, there's a civilization in there. Yeah, exactly. Like, and you're all there. Like, this that's the show I want. <laughs> Give me this show. All right. Uh, are, we, are we good with these choices? Or do we think we want to throw another one in there? Uh, let's do something spicy. Yeah, pineapple would be a fascinating uh, angle in here. Ooh, wait a minute. <laughs> 
<coughs> How about nugget? It's woody, Ooh. resiny, and bitter. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, that's cool. Because that's because the, there's going to be roots and trees like growing into the size yeah. of this thing. It's it's going to be a weird. It's essentially going to be like a rainforest in there, right? Its conditions are going to be nuts. Right. So let's take a look at those. Now, I got this. This was sent to me by Mike Thrall, who you may know as Crimson Kerr and I. Ooh. Uh, and it says... Gotta open the thing first. Yeah, it says we gotta open the thing first. I'll try not to destroy it, Crimson. Trying to smell well, that smell too strong. Oh, what the hell is it? I thought this was going to be a snap ship because well, yeah, of the, there's a whole snap ships. Yeah, logo. Oh, I get it. What is that? Whoa, Woo! that's a painted something. What in the hell? That's a painted jeans. Holy shit, that Dude, looks this great. This is great. Because it's 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 from my it's remember Jeans is Christ? Oh my god. Look at this. So this is like it's got like the green flame. Here, take a look at this. It's got a green flame belching out of the shotgun. What are the it, words on his chest? Here, let me. No, no, he ended up and, and just put, put it here. He's got oh, a, a I, guess, I guess that's much easier. I was like, rrr, rrr. Take a look at this ridiculous boy. Well, no, I was like, hey, nobody sent me shit because Mike kept talking about all these awesome um, snap ships and shit that he was getting in the mail. And I, I said nobody sent me shit as a joke, right? I'm not saying, hey, I need to, I need to have some shit. It says, I somehow got this idea and had to make it. I call him Gene Flame. Wow. Any resemblance to any living person may or may not be intentional. Feel free to use him or not, because, I mean, he's ready to roll. He's yeah. got the shotgun. He's exactly like my existing one with oh, yeah. the um, that, that blessed banner, right? That's great cool. rules. Great rules around the banner. Uh, feel free to use him or not use him when you play GSC again. No ulterior modus on my part. The enjoyment of creation was enough. I may mention the reasoning on my Insta. If it's cool, happy holidays and cheers for the streams of balm in these plague-filled times. Well, obviously, it is our great pleasure uh, to provide that comfort for you. Whoa. What I know exactly. Mojito? We're getting fucked. I know exactly where we're going here. But yeah, I mean, obviously he looks he looks like a million bucks with his with his board game sweatshirt and his uh, incredible uh, banner uh, that inspires. It inspires others. Uh, Sirachi Ace came out on top. That's great. You want to put a cup out? Yeah, Two what, cups? I want to try 13, this. No, it's 13 ABV. Yeah, you don't. Yeah, because you don't drink the whole thing. It's a mojito. It's a cocktail in a can. I mean, I guess that's true. Takitna. Yeah, I, I got. It. Where did we get this from? Was this from Kiranaya too? Off the same. Oh, really? Thanks. Fair enough. Who is employee? That's cool. Independent employee owned. Yeah, that's awesome. I definitely like that. Yep. It's Whoa. more likely in the brewing space. Jeez. It seems pretty compatible. All right, so Sirachi Ace for Flavoir. Okay, so our blueberry mojito is made yeah. with our signature Hopshine fresh mint blueberries and lime juice. Hopshine is an elegant spirit distilled using aromatic hop botanicals to make a clean what citrus a forward idea. cocktail. What a great idea. It's a craft cocktail ready to drink. But with hop? I don't know. Whoa, holy, whoa. Nah, nah. It's pungent. Whoa. Ah. Here, listen, <laughs> we're, we're, we're getting up on it here. We gotta, we gotta change around here. <laughs> yeah, that's a blueberry mojito. <coughs> oh. Man, the rich hop oils. 
<sighs> what are we doing again? I don't know. <laughs> what the hell? What? what? Yeah, and that hop comes in. <laughs> what vote did we just have? That's rich. No, it was Sriracha Ace. Oh, sure. So, uh, that was, uh, what was that for? Flavor. Was it? Yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> we tomahawk prefer bittering, and then there's our flavor. We're loving it. Do we want to add any more flavors? Uh, at 127, I think we might not. Well, you're acting like Mike's up next. He's not. I guess that's true. Uh, more flavors? We'll let them guide us. It's like a, we essentially use them as a Ouija board. Yeah. Right? <laughs> it's just like, great spirits. Please tell us answer. about the hops tell that us you what want. Grains. <laughs> Do you want Tell us the hop? What here? No, Necro Two Shoes says, "Hey, with Pico Brew no longer available, is there a similar system knife. that's good?" Yeah, optimally. Please. Uh, Please. Um, there are, there's a couple actually. Yeah, there are. Uh, the Grain Father is one of them. Mm -hmm. There is one called the Anvil, uh, which is also really it's an good. Automated. It's like a pilot system. They're they're both right? the same. They're 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 both cylinders. They're called Herms or H E R M. H E R M S or RIM R I M S. Oh, okay. It's these are industrial RIM systems. They're smaller scale industrial tools. <coughs> yeah. Right? Um, it, it's it's a little less automated than Pico, but more auto, But you only need that. Yeah. Well, it's one uh, cylinder that you need. Yeah. So. And so the one that I would get if I was looking around, based on like a lot of research, because as soon as I heard they were shutting down, I was like, let's try to figure out how it's going to go, because it wasn't always clear that the back end was going to stay up. I was looking really hard at a brewery. Yeah, I was looking hard at brewery too. Because they have cooling, it has built-in cooling. Like honestly, the brewery does things that this doesn't, and it does all the things that it does. Right. The only problem I have with brewery is, I don't know where the fuck is made. Like you try to look up the company, and it's oh. like non-existent. Well, yeah. And now, so like and, and I want to know that we've gotten bit. Yeah. It's like you want to you want to have a sense of where that stuff is happening from. But I was quite impressed. I, it might be yeah. an Australian company. No, I think it was somewhere in the Siberia. Really? Oh, yeah. understood. The north. Yeah. All right. Now, so we got that. I think we need a yeast. Okay. They say no. Okay. Let's get a yeast and let's pop it. Okay. So we can do American Ale and American Ale 2. Um, American Ale is going to be smooth and clean and balanced. American Ale 2 is going to be clean, tart, with a nutty flavor, and a little bit more fruity. I love it. Alright. Let's get it. Uh, that is really, really interesting. The, the main takeaway for me is this hop shine. I want to know more about right. this. A, an elegant spirit distilled using... I mean, the truth is, gin is itself a distilled botanical yeah, beverage. Yeah, I mean, you literally... The um, alcohol, the fume, the alcohol comes up and through a chamber of botanicals that you put in. Exactly. And that's where you get the flavor of gin. Exactly, but I would love... Essentially, we're talking about a clear spirit Hopped. That's inflected by hops. I would love to know more. Yeah, it's really cool. As a mix. Maybe we just make a, a trip to, to Talkeetna, Alaska? Yeah, Talkeetna. Yeah. Talkeetna? That's where um, Brenna's family's from. Talkeetna? Back in the day. Well, just, just up north. They lived in a place called Ketchikan on a literal rocky island. So my buddy, um, like two months ago, I went on a, like, last second jaunt to catch a can for a fishing trip. Yeah, that, that's where you do it. <laughs> yeah, it's like we flew in, we stayed at this really cool lodge on the water, yeah. and then yeah, just went would. out fishing, and then just went out drinking. That's exactly, yeah. I think that's what everybody there's yeah, doing. Yeah, yeah. Um, I had the best cup of coffee I've ever had in my life there. It was, a, it was like a mystical level of quality, and it was in catch a can. I just, we just went into like a greasy spoon. Yeah. And, uh, I just ordered the coffee, and it was just a regular cup of coffee. And I was like, I drink. I was like, this is the best coffee I've ever had in my life. And she's like, I was like, what is it? And she's like, uh, I'll go look. And then she goes and she shoes a cat off of a coffee maker, 
right? And then she brings out a can of Folgers. So I don't know if the cat is connected in some way. <laughs> it's like um, civet coffee. That That's yeah. awesome. Dude, it could, this could be some civet. That just shits directly in there. <laughs> this, yeah, just like directly into the pot. Uh, American Ale too. That's so, amazing. All right, now folks, Sarlacc beverage. Get your names ready. Um, but I've never, I, like, that's the main thing that I've, like, I think about that all the time. I think that she's right. I don't think that she's lying to me. I think it is Folgers. It's possible the cats were involved in its manufacture. But, but still. But, 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 but it's just like the right, so it's like, I can talk about coffee. Like before the show, we were talking about coffee with Josh, right? Yeah. I can talk about coffee at a pretty high level, yeah. like as a home roaster. I have a bunch of different ways to do it. But the good, like the best coffee is like the coffee at the right time. Right. Right, right. It's it's um it's like uh where you, where you're at. Yep. It's it's uh that cud uh, book that uh, Adam made, right? It's the it's what you're having, you know. Also the ingredients, but then really the experience of what you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. Are you sitting at a bar with a greasy spoon? And... Uh huh. It's what I needed, and it's cold up there. All right, we got a good one here from SA, like usual. Sarlacc spit. Oh, but Crimson, thank you so much for this really cool figure. Yeah. I'm so glad you were on. Into the pit. Great pint of cork. <laughs> what is it? I see it. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's really great. Thousand years for thousand year ferment. Yeah. Sarlactating. Oh. Proto. Wrong. Hi, Ru. Thank you so much. Yep, another incredible uh, homemade paint job by me. Yeah. I mean, all you ever do is paint minis these days. I can't stop. I, you're getting I really good. I can't stop, and honestly, check the results. Like, I can't believe all of the Necrons and Gene Steelers you painted yourself. It's just unbelievable. Like, when, we, when do you stop? I don't. I'm painting right now under the table. Yeah. You're gonna see some of my incredible uh, works here as soon as we get the table set up. Pills of Carcoon. <laughs> Sarlactually, love Sarlactually. <laughs> Jesus. That's dumb. Yeah, you know what though? <laughs> and with that, we're closing it up. Boba's tea? Boba's, Boba's tea is interesting, Holy but, but, shit. but it, it's, it's too close to. Uh, it's too close to the belly full of boba that. Oh, belly full um, of boba. Yeah, okay. The essay already popped in there, so That's good. we're good. Yeah, I was just gonna say talp. Yeah, it got Josh. That's the key. It's so dumb. It's great. It is. Yeah. Um, Bingley Henry Cavill is almost certainly getting people into this hobby. Oh, hundred percent. He is like the best spokesperson. You can tease him. Could have ever wanted. Like directly. What? You can just tease him directly, like on a show. Oh, I'm like, can I? Can no, I just, no, yeah, just you do know, it? Like, please tease. Absolutely not. No, the yeah. fantasy scenario is Henry Cavill right here. Yeah, I'm like, how do I get him here to tease him? I'm like, I want to do it directly. <clears throat> oh, yeah, Bingley, I have had that fantasy before. Believe it. I honestly think he's probably cool. I don't. Yeah. One one hesitates certainly to you know make these kinds of projections on another person's psychology. I just haven't seen anything to make me think that he's a goose. Here's what it is. He's a warhammer. Well, I mean that doesn't hurt. Oh, he's but, a witcher. Mm -hmm. He knows the books better than the, the director. The, the director. Yeah. No, this is also true. Now, here's what I like. When he put up a video on Insta of him building his computer. He didn't have to include the part where he installed oh, the heatsink yeah. wrong. Yeah. He could have not included the part where he installed the heatsink. But instead, he included the part where he installed the heatsink incorrectly. But he didn't immediately go fix it. He played video games for a while and then fixed Fix it. Fix it, yeah. Yeah, that's great. 
I mean, I liked the part where he was on a Witcher um, show, thing, show and, uh, and I watched it and it was great. Or, no, it was, it was an interview and he's like, oh, that thing looks like a black stone fortress. Yeah, he's pointing up at the chandelier. Come on, dude. Love Sarlaxually. Like, I just want to play Warhammer with this guy. Love Sarlaxually Love somehow. <laughs> How do you spell that? Oh, don't worry. We got it. Oh, we got it all for you right there. We love it. I mean, S.A., I know that you would appreciate it. How pained does Josh look? You have to understand, Talp, I can only hear Josh yeah. from here, right? I can only hear him. His face is not actually visible if you're working with Josh in the studio. Yeah. He has, and I remember, we had a bunch of different configurations for how this studio used to be. It used to be all over on this side. <laughs> And then we figured out that there's a, a reasonable play to be made to just build the whole command station in the closet, which itself is an offset from the room. All right. Love Star actually. God, we fucking did it. Well, hey, listen, we are going to painstakingly refurbish yeah. uh, this room into a, into a den of warfare uh, versus uh, Raven Guard uh, and, of course, the Necrons, who will win this time, almost certainly. No. Um, but one thing I will do is not put them right in front so that, uh, you yeah. know, the Redemptor Dreadnought can't just destroy them at turn one. We're going to give that it a try. It didn't seem like it was an effective strategy. It wasn't. It wasn't. I'm so used to range. Like, in this game, on this small board, range isn't really a factor. It's no, very much wanna, like Kill yeah. Team, right? Yeah. In Kill Team, many weapons don't even have range, right? Right. No, if if they're visible, the Redemptor Dreadnought can kill them with its chain gun. That's yeah. when it's going to happen. And Oris rocket launcher pod. Yeah. You, you uh, or its heavy flamer. To, you need to rush it and just rip it to shreds. Well, that's going to be what we try to do today. We're, gonna, we're like, can Kiko hear, hear us? Yeah. No. Listen, Kiko will be in here very soon after we've reconfigured the space. Don't go nowhere or go somewhere and then come back. Uh, I will tweet when we are uh, back at it. But until next time, huh!